guys, Aaron with Integrity Canine, and uh, this week, uh, couple, last couple weeks, we've been working with Hope, and uh, Hope is a is a interesting case. Six year old uh, Australian Shepherd um, that has become reactive in the home um, due to circumstances outside of her control. Um, you know, she's at home a lot and has kind of started making up the rules to her own game as far as um, she she's getting a protective instinct over her owners and especially over her home. And so uh, a lot of that seems to be stemming from one, a lack of self-confidence to a, um, uh, an inability for the owners to uh, to lead her in the way that she is needing at that time. Um, and um, uh, and three, just her protective instincts coming out, and uh, and she knows that uh, there's there's uh, people in the home that that need help, and she's trying to offer help the best way she can. So, um, but uh, so what we've been doing is working to build confidence, working to get her um, her obedience down uh, to a, a really solid level, and then working to socialize her as best we can. So some of the things that we've done that you won't see in this video necessarily um, are bringing in uh, people into our home, getting her on place, getting her to hold place, um, bringing them in, getting her used to the doorbell, getting her used to different things um, that are typical in the home so that um, when she goes back, she has the best chance at uh, being successful in her own home when people come over <clears throat> and, um, and, and showing them the sweet side that she has. So uh, all in all, very pleased with how she's done. Uh, today in the store, what you're gonna see is a loose leash heel. We'll probably do a little bit of off leash heel uh, to be modified uh, because of her circumstances, um, but uh, we'll also do a place. Uh, we'll build in distance, duration, distractions as best we can, um, considering, um, you know, her temperament and 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 all so um so you know all those things will be uh will be standard for her and she did um you know she'll do a really good job at, at all of them so um take a look at the video and uh, let me know what you think so leading out in loose leash heel i'm going to keep her on my left side and keep just enough slack here so that preferably i can reach up to scratch my face um, but what we want to do is keep her uh, right next to our, our knee. So her head is going to be right by my knee as I walk. If she gets forward or behind me or out to the left, I'm going to use the e collar. Now we're currently at a two, which is a great number for her. She works very well at a two. Um, and uh, I'll use that to get her attention back to me. So with a dog that uh, is not so sure about strangers, um, that's a great way to tap and, uh, and get her to look back at me. So follow along and we'll show you. Hope. Yep. Good girl. Good girl. See right there, she fixated on uh, the gentleman. And so just a quick tap of the e-collar. I've got her back on track with me and we're good to go. It's always funny, even with this do not pet uh, leash that I have here, uh, people still approach her and try to uh, try to make friends. And I just will never understand that. Good girl. So you can see she's walking very well um, on leash. Uh, I have very little problem with her. Uh, we'll get out here to the middle and go into a sit. Hope sit. Good girl. Um, so her leash skills are really, really good, um, which is which is very helpful in this kind of situation where we have a lot of people around. Today's not super busy, but uh, busy enough where she's able to see people get some experience uh, from that standpoint. Hope come. Got a girl. Sit. Good girl, good sit. How are you? Good girl. Good job. So typically we'd be working on distance, duration, distractions. Um, with her, her temperament and personality right now, I just want to keep her close to me, but we'll do a duration for sure. And uh, hey, no, no worries. And, um, and she's definitely got distractions that she's working through. So this is all good. Hope. Hope down. Good girl. Good down. So down for a dog like this um, can be can be good. Uh, there's some comfort there, but it's also a very submissive um, posture for her to take. So uh, if somebody approaches, she doesn't like to hold that very well. She'll actually get up into a sit, and um, and in that sit position, she feels like she can better defend herself. So my goal has been to get her to a place where she trusts me and trusts that I can defend her. Um, and that she doesn't have to defend me. So, um, so that helps 
just with her mentality of having to be a guard dog of sorts. Um, and for a dog that's not very confident to act like, she has to be a, a, um, a guard dog, that's a dangerous recipe because she makes up the rules to her own game. Um, and so right now what I'm doing is I'm, I've been establishing the rules to my game and getting her to follow those guidelines. So, and she's doing really good. So let's keep moving. Good girl. Yep. Come on, place. Good. Sit. Good girl. Good place. Good sit. So with the place command, what, uh, 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 what we're wanting to do is get her up on an object that has clearly defined boundaries. So in the home, that could be a dog bed. Um, in public, that's going to be a pallet, a crate, um, stacks of dog food or, or fertilizer, that kind of stuff. Um, and so what that does is it gives the dog a little bit of confidence um, in their capabilities as they learn how to navigate certain, um, certain textures and heights, uh, but it also gives them clearly defined boundaries. So that's what we're looking at here is something that has those boundaries. Uh, so she knows that that's where she's supposed to be. So um, when I'm in public, I can put her up on a place, put her into a sit and, uh, and then back up, give her that distance duration with the distractions. Um, you know, we've got some people around, we've got some carts rolling by. She's holding really well um, because of her nature. I'm not gonna get super far away from her but um uh, but we'll just keep keep working with her here so good girl good girl <laughs> y'all are good come on by yeah yeah see we're gonna good act girl. up what's up good girl good girl yeah good girl <laughs> good girl So basically when we're done with this command, uh, whether it's the place, sit, down, whatever it is, what we're gonna do is give her a, a break command or a come command to get her off of there. So break is gonna be her reward. Uh, come is gonna be um, a, uh, a command from point A to point B uh, and into a sit. So break. Good girl. Yes, good job. Good girl. All right. And we'll go into another loose leash heel. Um, and we'll see if we can drape this over her back and, and simulate a, um, an off-leash heel as well. So, yep. That right, girl.
dancing in the city lights, city lights. Ain't it ready? Gonna be no better time. Let's go! 